Do you all like to order online? We all like to order online. There's what, millions and millions of orders placed daily throughout the world. But if you're doing this one thing, beware of what I'm gonna tell you shortly. In this video, you're also gonna be able to enter to win a Midland 50 channel waterproof GM RS two-way radio long range walkie-talkie with 142 privacy codes SOS siren and no weather alerts and weather scan that's coming up later on make sure that you watch the video so that you can see how you have to enter now back to what we were talking about. We all like to order online and everything else. And as you all know, I am a UPS driver and we have been running into a lot of different issues with this particular type of subject over the last few weeks. See, a lot of people are trying to um, get the goods that they want, the certain products they want, that one particular product, okay? And they're not able to get it here. So what they're trying to do is uh, look, just get rid of the middleman and boom, we're going to order it right from the company itself. Now, it doesn't matter where it is. It can be from Hong Kong to Spain. It could be from India, uh, England, wherever, Canada, Mexico, doesn't matter, folks. This all pertains to the same thing, all right? For number one, you have to be very careful when you're placing these orders because a lot of people do not realize what is actually taking place and what happens when we... UPS, FedEx, the post office, we show up and we knock on your door and boom, you know, we have your package here. It's from, you know, Spain. You owe us custom fees for $30. Just give me an example. And they'll be like, what is custom fees? Well, that means that there's a fee on that package that you have to pay duties, taxes, whatever it may be. UPS has already paid it up front, just like FedEx and post office does. And you have to reimburse us if you want your package. By this time, most people get pretty ticked off because they were not aware of this. They thought when they bought this product for 50 bucks, you know, and it usually sells for 150 over here, they got a great deal. And by the time that they pay their duties, taxes and custom fees and everything else, well, guess what? It costs them more money than if they would have just waited till it got here. But here's some things that you can do to try to get around that. And, you know, we're going to cover a few things here because a lot of people do not really understand this. So I'm going to explain a few things for you and I'm going to give you some tips on how to try to get around having to pay some of these custom fees, duties, fees, taxes, and everything else. All right. Now, one question that uh, we get a lot, you know, does customs really check every package that comes through there? Yes, actually they do, all right? Um, sometimes if you might receive a package and it has been opened, it may have tape on it, it says open by customs, all right? And there may be something that's inside the package also stating this, all right? They have every right to open the package, check it, make sure that everything meets at the country's laws, the regulations, and the policies. You see, there are some things that you can't, buy and have shipped over here the same way as in other countries they can't buy it from here and have it shipped over there all right we all have these rules and regulations and they have to constantly monitor these to make sure that everybody is basically playing on the same page all right why do i have to pay custom fees duty fees taxes on any given package Duty fees, custom fees, and taxes are all imposed to generate revenue to protect your local industries from the country that it is coming from. Almost all shipments across international borders are subject to duty, custom, and tax assessment by the importing country's government. Remember that. Another question we get asked is, well, how much are custom fees usually? All right, U.S. custom collects this fee on most shipments that enter this country. It is calculated at 0.3464% of the entered value, the cost of the merchandise, 
as entered on the commercial invoice you provide to custom broker all right so inside that package or usually on the outside there'll be an invoice and that invoice will have all this information on that so when customs look at that you know they can say okay it's this amount and everything else who paid for it all right now what will t usually take place is you know at that point in time you know they have to make sure that the custom fees have been paid or enough has been paid because sometimes they don't pay all this all right and these fees usually range anywhere between twenty seven dollars and twenty three cents and a maximum of five hundred and twenty eight dollars and thirty three cents all right i'm going to put a link in the description below for ups it breaks down things gives you uh, zones and everything from where you know packages are coming from countries and everything and gives you a pretty good idea of how much it's going to cost you in these duty fees taxes custom fees and everything else all right now how do i know if i need to pay these all these fees and customs all right so either the seller or the buyer of a shipment must pay the custom fees the duty fees and all the money all right generally the party responsible for the payment is prearranged in the shipper and receivers terms of sales now this is where a lot of people go wrong folks so pay attention if you're buying something from overseas there has to be a term of sales so it's going to tell you if you're responsible for paying these custom fees taxes and everything else or if the company is now at that point in time you can also tell the company that you want to pay for all that up front so when we get there we can just leave the package by your front door just like we normally always do ring the lovely little doorbell and walk away and more than likely you saw us on the camera as you were walking up to your house and this way here you know you got your package you don't have to pay for it it's already been prepaid all right but a lot of companies do not tell their customers this and then they are shell shocked when we show up and tell them that we need a hundred and some odd dollars for custom fees so you want to make sure that you are reaching out to your whoever you are buying from and making sure that they are giving you the, all the information you need right up front so you know what you're dealing with and if it's worth your time and worth it to buy the product directly from the shipper all right now how do you avoid your custom charges duty fees and taxes all right now pay a close attention folks because this is very important if you are ordering a product just for you this does not apply for business owners this is for the general joe blow down the street all right he ordered some radio or flashlight or whatever it could be all right and when you contact these people and you want to place this order you have to tell the seller right up front that this item is for personal use only not for sale all right and which import duties typically apply to the items imported for commercial use only all right not for personal use if you are importing something for your own personal use or if you're going to gift something all right to someone else in your family friends whoever it could be you know you usually typically do not have to pay these fees all right now at this point if you would like to win that midland 50 channel waterproof gm rs two-way radio that i'm going to be giving away tomorrow night on my live stream at eight o'clock eastern standard time all you people have to do out there is in the comment section let's see what's really going on in this country i want you to put what state you're in if you'd like to put the city that's fine that'd be great but if you don't want to put at least the state and how much you're paying for gas right now here in florida it's 475 a gallon i'll pin that in the comment but that's all you got to do, folks, and you'll be entered to win tomorrow night 
at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I wish everybody good luck. And now we're going to talk about, I'm going to give you four things that you can do to make sure that you are being prepared when you are ordering products. All right. Number one, including, include, excuse me, include duties and the prices so customers don't have to pay them later. So if you have, if, you know, make sure that they're including these prices, the duty prices in the product. So you have to ask them, does this include the duty prices and custom fees in the price of the product that I'm purchasing right now? All right. Number two, you always want to make sure that you're telling the seller that this is for personal use only. You have to tell them this. All right. So reach out to them, uh, call them, email, whatever else. Make sure that they understand that this is for personal use only. A lot of this does not apply for commercial businesses. You're going to pay it, period. Number three, if all of a sudden I show up at your door and I'm telling you I have a package for you and you owe me money on custom fees and you... Say you already paid for it. You have to get on the phone. Not while I'm there. I'll be back tomorrow. And you want to make sure that you get on the phone, email, whatever you have to contact these people. And you want to make sure that you notify them immediately that I'm there collecting these fees and you already paid for them. Okay, folks? Uh, because they can reach out and contact customs in which then customs can contact UPS and say, poop, it's already paid for, if that is the case. And number four, make sure that when they send these packages and stuff, tell them to make sure that there is a shipment does include a detailed invoice that is on the package. For one, it's going to get your package through customs a lot faster because if it there's no invoice, it doesn't go through customs. I don't care who ships it, it has to have an invoice, period. So make sure that the invoice is in there. Make sure that it shows that the um, custom fees and everything have been paid and make sure that you, know, you are good to go and you don't have to worry about any of this kind of stuff. So today's video was basically on you know, if you're ordering online, you need to be aware of some of these things because all of a sudden within the last two or three weeks, we have seen an influxuation of all these type of packages and they're all coming with custom fees on them because these other companies all of a sudden aren't paying them anymore. And obviously they're not telling you what they are doing and they're not telling you they're not paying it until I arrive and make your day. When I tell you, you got to pay me if you want this. See what I'm saying, folks? So you got to ask a lot of questions. I just told you all about it. Hopefully this will help people out. And hopefully, you know, this will take a little of the stress off when you're ordering these products. Because it may be something that you need. Maybe it's a car part, you know. And you can't get it here. Maybe you have to order it from another country. But you got to ask these questions. And you got to make sure that you're doing it. You got to follow it step by step, folks, or I'll still be knocking on your door telling you I need money. It's just the way it is. I have no control over it. I can't change it. That has to be between whoever you bought it from. They have to notify customs, which in turn notify whoever is delivering the packages as far as FedEx, UPS, Post Office, whoever it may be, DHL, whoever it is. They're the ones that have to make the call. There's nothing we can do about it. Even if you show me proof that you paid it, there's nothing I can do. So I hope this helps everybody out and gives you a little bit of information. Hope everybody has a wonderful evening. And make sure that you enter to win the radio. Just put your gas prices. What state, what city if you wish. And let's see what everybody out there is paying for gas all across this country. Maybe across the world. You never know. We have a lot of people in here now. So until next time, folks. I'll catch you all on the flip side. Actually, I'll see you tomorrow night at 8 p.m. Don't forget, Eastern Standard Time.